screws, a hammer. I also have this uh, trim puller. Um, it's kind of nice. Uh, used for trim, not necessarily for nails, but I use it for leverage. Just like you would use a crowbar, but the crowbar is stronger because this is a little flexible. Um, but I use the crowbar a lot. And this new, oh, before I do that, got this thing here, my DeWalt nail puller. Very nice. Can use for leverage here as well. Um, or to get underneath. I use them together, not any one tool uh, can work alone. And then I bought this thing. I am super excited about this. Been waiting a while for a way to get this. You know, I buy a lot of things in Home Depot and Lowe's, but also online. And it just seemed like this thing took forever for me to get. And in actuality, it only took me three or four days, uh, which isn't too bad uh, over a weekend and such um, as well there. I just get giddy looking at these new tools. So I'm going to play around with this today. So, or, or, or I should say, rephrase that if I need to, because you can see what this is for. Uh, it's got a little curve on it, rounded. It's for pulling up those stripped nails. So if any of these nails come through or this boards come through and these nails are stripped, like their heads are just shredded after I've tried to pop them off, which can happen with rusty nails. But these nails aren't too bad. I've definitely seen worse nails. Um, that's what this thing is for. It grips it real tight. And then you use the leverage of this to just rip it out with some brute force. So that's the project for today. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I've got some nails here, and uh, they're they're kind of in there. You can see this one here; uh, it's kind of pointed inward into the wood. So what we typically do here is we will hammer it, right, nice and gentle, just so you see it start going down. You don't need to go down all the way; it is helpful. But once you know it's going, there, beautiful. Now let's try this one. Okay, this one is surprisingly uh, doing well, so great, it's messing up my video. I was hoping, hoping I bro actually broke the nail there, but uh, and this thing, and just pull. Holy crap, pardon my French, that was so easy. Well, I mean, I am not the strongest guy out there, and I am ambidextrous, I can use left or right hand equally. Um, that was super easy. Now granted I had, I had knocked it a little bit and it wasn't stripped, but that was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. It, it's almost so easy it's fun. I don't even need to use it here, but what the hell. Perfect. I mean, so easy. So this is that crescent you know, nail puller here. And I really like this thing already. Um, <laughs> I am a, a college professor and uh, I have to laugh because I like this thing after using it two times. Uh, that makes no sense, right? Like, in any kind of research or a testing environment, you would not do something twice and say, hey, victory. But um, I'm feeling good about it instinctually. I've got a nice piece of wood here. Um, just some, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to join this, uh, run it through my planer, uh, clean it up a little bit. But um, this could, could be some coasters. Could be, depending on how it cleans up, it could be some sort of a rustic uh, flag, um, just like these pieces were. So I've been making flags here for law enforcement, firefighters, EMTs, and um, you know, I could just firm this up, make a little, you know, just, there we go. Let me look at that. Beautiful. I could get two pieces out of this, you know, without the kerf on my table saw, or minus the kerf on the table saw, we, we got two pieces here. So, what am I doing? So yeah, that's how it works, folks. Um, that wasn't too hard for this. 
to be honest with you. It just depends on your needs. Do you need this extra wood um, or don't you? So that's what this came off of. I, I rip sipped this stuff. Now I can take these off and then I can add a nice piece of wood here. Or if you've seen some of those stove top cover videos, put this on something. And now I've got my handles already. I can just reach out and lift it up. I don't even have to do any routing. I mean, maybe you do a roundover bit or you do some sanding here, whatever it is. But, um, you know, you might have uh, some of your work already done for you here. Now, because it's a stronger wood, I would feel better about yanking it out with this hammer, like brute force method, uh, to get these out. But uh, don't forget that either. The other thing I like to do to get these nails out is I like to take my trusty recip saw and cut right about where the nail is um, and, and then weaken it, you know. So let's go ahead and do that here. Just enough so this piece falls off. And now this thing doesn't have a leg to stand on. You can move it around, you can pop, you're going to be able to pop it off pretty easily. Even if it breaks off, now I know I have my crescent nail puller here that I think will do a dandy job at this. So we'll just see here. I don't even need it, you know. Um, it's already coming off just because of that little, little method that I used there. But, um, you no, know, a bench vise would make short work of this too. Uh, and then I just throw it over there on my husky tray so you could either do another one here or just break it off well I guess I am strong there we go so I'll yank that let's just give this a try here let's go for number three here see if I still like this thing oh, oh my god that is like butter holy crap I'm definitely sending a video of this to the company to let them know that this thing rocks gosh this was definitely well worth the money i think it was just about 20 bucks so if you've seen my previous videos this is a fixed cost okay whatever i make with this wood i'm not giving the customer this tool so it's a fixed cost so for 20 bucks divide that out by um how much i sell for things how much my other costs are um this should pay for itself within a couple of uh you know flags being made or a couple of you know a couple sets of coasters maybe maybe a few more coasters than that but um, that that's what you have so let's just do one more for good measure here um, again I like to just you know go go as close to another nail as I can just break up this wood and so it doesn't have a lot of leverage in it. So it didn't break up the, the wood there too much, but um, that's where you can use this tool. Or you see how there's a little bit of uh, material here, um, right there. I don't know if you can see it that well. I'm just going to try to hammer that, okay? Sort of go back to saying I'm ambidextrous. Just to see, again, a bench vise would be really ideal here. Just want to loosen this up a little bit and it's loose over there so now i really wanted to get a bench vice set up here so now look at i mean just look it's just coming off and i could use that bench or that uh, nail puller again but uh, just kind of keep working it i mean this is fun to me like i mean maybe not after like the 50th time i do this but it's kind of fun so so this one's giving me a little bit of trouble so i'll take this piece here and try to shove it down there so that I can break this up further. There we go. I'm not concerned about this little piece. Okay, perfect. Minus some stuff falling on the floor. So I've got three nails there. What I like to do, and this is called economies of scale. When you can do one task all in repetition, it's faster and more muscle memory than if you're like, oh, I'm going to pop these off. Now I'm going to go down here and saw this off and then I'll pop these nails off. Like, no, why don't you, and if this wasn't a, a little vlog video, right, 
um, I would have gotten all the wood off before I pulled a single nail. But I'm sitting here trying to brag to you about how awesome this tool is. So that's why I went ahead and did that. So I would just take this here, again go as close as possible to one of the nails. And when I say close as possible, I'm not talking about cutting the nail. Because uh, that could hurt your saw blade. So depending on your situation there, um, why bother? Why, why, why bother risking your, your saw blade if you don't have to? What's, what's like a half a centimeter, you know? So now we're going to just play with these a little bit. Okay, one of them already, a piece already kind of started coming apart there. That's what we want. There we go, another one. It's coming apart like butter. That's what you want. Some temperature in here. <clears throat> it's 36 degrees in here. It was 30 when I came in here. And now that we put a little bit of energy in here. There we go. So now it looks like I've got a uh, zombie apocalypse kind of weapon here. Where I've got some nails and some nails here. Um, not quite, it's too short. Why do you risk your exposure to a zombie over here? <laughs> uh, you need a longer tool, but we got we got this here. I digress. So let's just let's just see how this works here. Three on each side. You know, bench bench press bench tool. All right. There we go. I mean. Yeah, it's similar action to using the claw of a hammer, but I'm telling you, it is so effortless. Like, I have a sore left shoulder, and I'm able to do this. Like, with ease. Like, I'm not smashing the wood, I'm not going, uh, uh, uh. you know, it, it's just coming, coming out like butter. So, awesome job there, Crescent. This video is not sponsored. I just, uh, as I've said before in different videos, I'm just showing you my journey from knowing nothing to knowing a little bit more than nothing. So I'm not a professional. I just, like, like I've said before, I went straight through college. I did all the books, hit the books hard. I had a great career in business um, for an, actually an industrial distribution company that sold sells these kind of products um, to contractors um, I did a lot of the pricing analytics uh, negotiating and making sure that customers got a fair price um, you know, steel prices went down 20% we made sure our suppliers gave us that uh, d decreased cost so we could pass it on to our customers that was my job before I became a teacher and now uh, I'm using those tools <laughs> some odd years later okay so this one's a little tougher because I don't have the leverage here but I'm telling you it, it's it's not a lot of effort probably should have gone the other way here with this one but anyhow I'm gonna end this video because I don't want to embarrass myself further just kidding no I mean you've been on here for a while so let's go watch something else <laughs> go watch Jeff and Vince Tool boss. Talk to you later.